What's going on fam? Coming at you today with the mod video. I wouldn't really call it a mod video, I'm just changing the buttons and the joystick, but this will void your warranty, so it's a mod. So really, on the, the stock wrap for it, I've been using it for a while, uh, I don't like the Habusa really at all. It feels really loose. Um, the buttons, the Kuro, Kuro buttons, uh, they're not too bad. Uh, the Buttons that are wider, I feel, than the Sanwa, like the actual like press part of the buttons. Uh, but I just, I like the style of the Sanwa buttons, and I bought a Sumitsu Short Rise uh, joystick. So uh, it feels a lot better. It feels a little more stiff. It doesn't feel as loose as the Habusa does. So uh, that's what I'm doing today. So uh, I'm going to film it all so you can kind of see what's inside of the the rap five and uh, yeah so let's get going all right so to get this started what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew all of the screws on the back uh, this will also remove the warranty sticker which will void the warranty uh, so this is actually the first time I took the stick apart so this is a uh, kind of the first time seeing it myself along with you guys so once we get the back panel off uh, you'll see all the wires and the joystick and everything, which can be a little overwhelming, uh, but don't worry, it's actually not that hard at all. Okay, so first we're going to remove the joystick. So to make this easier, you're going to want to set it on a box. The box is going to lift it up a bit so it's not resting on the joystick, and it'll make it to where the joystick's not moving around when you're trying to remove all the pieces like this small metal piece that rests at the bottom. Uh, it's a little half circle. Uh, do not suggest using your fingers. It does not feel good trying to get that off. Would suggest using a flathead screwdriver, a pick of some sort, maybe even keys if you can get it in there. But just don't use your fingers because it does not feel good. But once you get that piece off, uh, the joystick will actually just fall straight out. So make sure you're doing this in an area to where you can find all the pieces after they fall out or somewhere that's well lit. You don't want to lose any pieces down like a crack of a couch or anything. So once you get all those pieces gathered up to the side, now we're going to switch to the actual joystick housing. Now what holds this bad boy in place are four screws. So you want to go ahead and remove those four screws and it'll just lift right off. So now that you have all four screws removed, make sure you have all the pieces, like that little screw that just fell out, uh, all these little extra little tidbits that go along with the Habusa. And what's going to be next is the connection piece, that, or the connection wire to the joystick to the PCB. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and remove that. It has like a little lip that you need to kind of fold down and peel back. Uh, just be extremely careful. You know, these are small plastic pieces. You don't want to break anything. So once you get that removed, it's really easy. Uh, here's the new joystick. Just put that in like so. Some joysticks don't have this feature which only allows it to go on one way. So if you put it in backwards, say your left will go right. So you just wanna make sure that when you take it off, you put it back in the same way. Luckily with this particular joystick, um, there's only one way you can put it in. Now this particular joystick only has two screws that line up with the casing. So you're only, you're only gonna screw in two more screws. And then once that's screwed in, you have a brand new Sumitsu joystick that all you have to do is screw the ball on and then you'll be good to go. So up next, we're going to work on the buttons. Now the buttons themselves have these two wing pieces that you need to press down and then they will just fall out of the casing. I uh, had a little trouble getting my uh, fingers in there to press the, the wings themselves, so I had to enlist the help of the flathead screwdriver to kind of press those in. And once you get them pressed in, they just fall right out the front. So just go ahead and I suggest doing all of them right now. Uh, just poking them all out through the front so they all kind of dangle out the front. Um, so you, you don't want to get all the wires crossed up or anything. This just, in my mind, makes it a lot easier to keep control over what you're doing. So 
So, after you get them all popped out through the front, uh, don't do what I did and press a little too hard and uh, the button comes out. But uh, So now what you're going to do is take the wires out of the old buttons and then put them in the new. Uh, there is no particular way that they need to be attached, but I will say, do not pull these from the wire. You want to pull them from the connection piece. These are small wires. You do not want to disrupt the connection. You don't want to pull out a wire, so you have to solder something back. Um, but as soon as you pull them off, just keep them in your fingers so they don't go back inside the casing. And then plug them into the new, and you're good to go. There's a new button installed on your arcade stick. So just rinse and repeat. Pull them out. Make sure you're as careful as you can be, and when you put them in, uh, you want to make sure that you put them in soft as well. You don't want to just kind of jam them in there. Uh, just be really gentle. But yeah, I mean, it's it's that simple. buttons submit to joystick installed the video shit out on me but no big deal really just follow what I was doing you pop them out take the wires out put the wires in the new buttons push that shit in you're good to go screw the back back on you're done so uh, I'll have a review of uh, the new hardware here pretty soon after I put some hours in on them tell you what to think of the silent uh, version of the Sanwa um, if you like the video, please subscribe, like the video if you didn't like it, thumbs that shit down, tell me what I could do better, tell me if I should just stop, I'm not going to, but you know, it's the internet, you can say what you want. But yeah, I uh, hope you liked this video, have uh, that review up soon, and uh, till then, 